Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's tutorial we are going to be making a chubby bunny. This is a super fun beginner friendly pattern. It works up really really quickly and would make a really great gift for anyone. I can't wait to share it with you. So let's get into it. So for today's supplies, I'm going to be using, using this Honey Bunny Shine yarn in pink. It's really, really pretty. I find this yarn falls apart a little bit more compared to the Baby Snuggle yarn, but I really like the Shine version of this, so that's what I'm going to be using. I'm also going to be using my 55 millimeter crochet hook from Crochet Society. We're also going to need a pair of scissors some safety eyes. These are just 12 millimeter safety eyes, but you can use whatever size you prefer. A darning needle, a stitch marker, some fabric pins, fiber fill, and we're also going to need a medium weight yarn. I'm just going to be using this uh, pink color, a little bit darker than the, uh, the pink that I'm using for the main body. And this is going to be for the nose and for the detail flowers. So once we have gathered all of our supplies, we can get started. All right, so to begin this pattern, we are going to create the body head combo um, using this color A yarn. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a magic ring. And inside the magic ring, we are going to make eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll pull that tight. Now you're gonna place your stitch marker here, or for myself, I like to use a strand of yarn, a scrap strand, and I just like to place it right in front. For creating amigurumi, I just prefer this method, but you do what works best for you. Now moving on to round two, we're going to do an increase round. So we're gonna do one increase stitch in every stitch around. An increase stitch is two single crochets in one stitch. So there's one and then back into that same one for a second. And we'll do that all the way around. So there's four and you should have 16 stitches at the end of this round. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Moving on to round three, we're going to do the combination single crochet in one stitch and an increase in the next. So single crochet and increase. So two single crochets in one, single crochet and increase. And we'll repeat this eight times for a stitch count of 24 at the end of round three. And there is round three. For round four, we're going to do 24 single crochets. So that's one single crochet in each stitch around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. For round five, we're going to do the combination single crochet three and increase. So one, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase. We'll repeat this six times for a stitch count of 30 at the end of round five. So I will meet you back here at the end of round five. All right, moving on to row six. For rows six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, so seven rows, we are going to place 30 single crochets. So that's one single crochet in each stitch around for all seven rows from row six to 12. So just like that, all the way around. So I will complete rows uh, six through 12 off camera and then I will meet you back here for round 13. All right, and that is up to round 12 of the body. So now moving on to round 13, we're gonna to start to decrease. So we're gonna do the combination single crochet three and a decrease stitch. So one, two, three. And I like to do an invisible decrease. So that means going under the front loop of the first stitch, the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over, pull through those two loops, yarn over and pull through. We'll repeat that again. One, two, three, and a decrease. We'll repeat this six times for a stitch count of 24 at the end of round 13. For round 14, we're gonna do 24 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch around. Four, I will meet you back here at the end of round 14. All right, so that is round 14 complete. Now, before we move forward, we are going to place our eyes and we're also going to stuff the body. Now for the eyes, I'm going to be placing my eyes on round, rounds eight and nine of the head here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So between rounds eight and nine, I'm just gonna place one eye in here just to mark that area. And you're gonna want about six stitches in between your eyes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll see what that looks like. Like that. And if it doesn't look right to you, then you just adjust it as you see fit. There is no right or wrong with this kind of stuff. A lot of it is personal preference. So once you have your eyes in the place that you want them to be, I'm just going to place my backings on here. Just like that. Okay. 
And there are my eyes attached. And now, before moving forward, we will just stuff the body here. So I'm just going to take my fiber fill and I'm just going to start stuffing that. And what I like to do is I just like to bring the stuffing out to the outsides just to make sure that like everything is getting equally covered and filled and then I'll just stick some in the center to fill that area that I swept it all to the side. And we will stuff once more before we close off here so it doesn't have to be fully perfect, especially at this end here. Just try and um, get the top as full as you want it. Um, and just making sure you're not overstuffing either um, because you don't want uh, you don't want your stitches to be splitting apart or anything like that when you're stuffing. Just like that. So once we've placed our eyes and stuffed our body, we can move on to round 15. So for round 15, we are going to do single crochet two and a decrease. So one, two, and a decrease. One, two, decrease. Now we're going to repeat this six times for a stitch count of 18 at the end of round 15. One, two, decrease. One, two, decrease, and one more, one, two, decrease. And there's round 15. Moving on to round 16, we're going to do 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Now before we move forward, I'm just going to add some more stuffing here to the bottom. Um, just to make sure that that's all stuffed and filled. Now moving on to our final round here, we're going to do single crochet one and a decrease. So single crochet, decrease. Single crochet, decrease. Single crochet, decrease. And we're going to repeat this six times as well. So you should have 12 stitches um, by the end of round 17. All right, and that is done. So now I'm just gonna remove my stitch marker here. And I'm just going to cut my yarn. You don't need it too, too long. I'm just gonna cut that. 
Now what I like to do is I just like to insert into the next stitch and create a slip stitch here and then pull all the way through and that's just going to tie off that area. I'm just going to stuff a little bit more stuffing in just to make sure that I have it how I want it. Now what I like to do next is I'm just going to take a smaller crochet hook. This is just a 3.5 millimeter. doesn't matter what size it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath the front loop of this last round here and I'm just going to go through and pull this yarn tail through each one. Just like this. And I'm just pulling on that end a little bit as well, and that's just going to close off um, this final row here. As you can see, the hole is getting smaller. Now with this yarn, it can be difficult because it does splay and break apart. But that's okay. It doesn't if it doesn't close all the way like that, that's no problem. I'm just going to um, reach in and grab my yarn here, and I'm going to make a little loop, and I'm going to pull my tail through, and I'm just going to make a little knot here, and then I'm going to go over this way and pull my yarn and make another little knot, and that closed up that area. Now I'm just going to cut my yarn again here because it's too long now for what I want it for and I'm just going to weave in those ends. And there is the body head combo and the eyes complete. Alright, so once we have our head and eyes done, we're just going to make the nose. So I'm just going to take some of that yarn that I was going to use, um, the medium weight, it's a size 3 yarn. And I'm going to cut maybe like 12 to 16 inches of that. And then with my darning needle here, I'm just going to attach that. Now what we want to do is we want to attach our nose uh, on the bottom of row 9. So our eyes are on row 8 and 9, so this right here is the bottom of row 9. So that's where we're going to put our little nose. And we want them to be two stitches from either eye. So I'm just going to insert my, my needle here and I'm going to insert it right here because that's on the bottom of, of row 9 and that's two stitches from this eye and I'm just going to pull that a little bit. So now once I have my uh, yarn inserted right here, I'm just going to go over about two to three stitches, depending on how far apart your eyes are. We just want to have it centered, so making sure there's two stitches from this eye, we're going to insert it here. And I'm just going to wrap it right back through because we want to do a couple uh, layers here. So I like to do three strands. So there's one, there's two, and three. And now instead of pushing it all the way through here, what we're going to do is we're going to push it to the center here. And sometimes it can be hard to find. So if you just need to put your needle through just to see where that's going to land, and then if you need to adjust it, which I do, this isn't quite centered. So I'm just going to push it over a little and see. It looks a little bit better. It's hard sometimes if you're between stitches. So my center is going to be in the middle of this stitch right here, which can be hard to get into. But that looks a little bit better. And then we're just going to go down and insert our needle one row down and then again we're going to repeat that three times for three strands on the bottom piece here. So there's two, three, I'm 
just like that. And then I'm just gonna push this down back to where I started. And there's my little nose. Now with these yarn ends here, I just like to tie a light knot. Don't pull too hard or you will um, pull your tension too tight on the nose and it will um, make it a little bit misshapen. And then I'm just gonna cut these ends that are too long. And then with a smaller crochet hook, I'm just going to weave in those ends here. And while weaving in your ends, if you notice that your got pulled through, so you can just loosen it again. And there is our nose. All right, so once we have our head and eyes and everything completed, we're gonna move on to the ears. Now for the ears, we're gonna be using our color A yarn again, and we're gonna start off with a magic ring. Now inside the magic ring for the ears, we are going to make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're just going to pull that. Grab our stitch marker and move on to round two. So for round two, we're going to do an increase round. So two single crochets in each stitch around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11 and 12. So you should have 12 stitches at the end of round two. Now for round three, we're gonna do the combination single crochet increase. So single crochet and an increase. Single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase all the way around. And you're gonna repeat this six times for a final stitch count of 18 at the end of round three. Single crochet and increase. Now for rows four, five, and six, we're gonna place one single crochet in each stitch around. So 18 single crochets for rows four, five, and six. I will complete these rows off camera and I'll meet you back here for row seven. All right, now moving on to round seven, we're going to do the combination single crochet one and a decrease stitch. So single crochet and our invisible decrease, same as we did for the body. Single crochet, invisible decrease, single crochet, decrease. We'll repeat this six times and you should have a stitch count of 12 at the end of round seven. Single crochet, decrease, single crochet, and a decrease.
All right, now moving on to round eight. We are going to do round eight, nine, 10, and 11, so four rounds. We're gonna do single crochet 12. So just one single crochet in each stitch around for rounds eight through 11. So I will uh, complete these rounds off camera and I will meet you back here for round 12. All right, and that is up to round 11 complete. Now moving on to round 12, we're gonna do another decrease round. So it's gonna be another single crochet and decrease. single crochet and a decrease and you will repeat this four times and your stitch count at the end should be eight. Single crochet, decrease, single crochet and decrease. Moving on to round 13 and 14, we're going to do single crochet eight. So one single crochet in each stitch around for rounds 13 and 14. Here's round 13, one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is your ear complete. So we're just going to, I'm going to pull out my stitch marker here, and I'm just going to place a slip stitch into this next stitch over. And I'm just going to cut a strand about 12 inches long. And I'm just gonna pull that through. And there is our ear. Now you will need to make two of these. So go back in the video and rewatch and make one more of these ears and then we will meet back here to sew them onto the body. All right, so once we have made two ears, we will sew them on. So just grab your head here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be attaching the ears. I mean, realistically, you could attach the ears any which way you'd like. Um, if you wanna attach them on the back or you know, standing straight up if you prefer that. I kind of like the look of it looking like it's hair, um, where it's kind of drooping over the side, kind of like this. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to attach this first ear onto round two of the top of the head. And I want it pretty centered um, with the top here so that it's proportionate, just like that. Now you can just take your fabric pins here and just pin it in place to make sure that it's where you want it to be. And then once you are happy with that, uh, you'll just take your yarn end and attach it to the darning needle here. And then we're just going to sew this right on. Now I'm sewing both sides of the ear together as well um, and that way onto the head as well just to make sure that I um, that it looks proportionate and it's not sticking up too much on the side there. And then I'm just going to push my yarn end to the back.
and there is one ear attached. Now the second ear is just going to go directly on top and just it's going to go over the, the half closest to the first ear of the first round, so right about here. So it's going to look like this. So first I'm just going to put my darning needle on here. And then you can secure down with your fabric pins first to make sure it's in the right spot. But you're just basically stacking it right on top so you can use that first ear as a guide. And then I'm just going to sew that right on. And then again, once that's sewn on, we'll just push this right back into the same opening that you pushed the first one. And I'm just going to pull this up because I don't want it to pull. And there are our ears attached. So all I'm going to do in the back here is just tie a knot just to secure these together. Cut my ends here and then using that smaller hook again I'm just going to weave in those ends. There you go, just like that. Alright, moving on we're going to work on the legs now. So. First, we're going to start off with our magic ring again. And in the magic ring, we are going to place eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull that tight and grab our stitch marker. Now for rows two, three, four, and five, we're just going to do single crochet eight. So for four rounds, we're going to do eight single crochets. Three, four, Goodness. Five, six, seven, and eight. So I will complete the rest off camera and I'll meet you back here after round five. All right, so this is what we're looking like at the end of round five, and that is the foot and the leg complete. So I'm just going to pull out the stitch marker, and I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch here. I'm just going to cut some yarn, and I'm also going to cut the middle strand so it's not so long. And then I'm just going to pull this through and just stuff that yarn end in there. Now again, you're gonna need two of these, so go back and make one more, and I'll meet you back here to sew them on. All right, so once you have um, made two of your legs, we're going to sew them on. So just grab your body here, and we're going to be putting them on the bottom of the, of the body here, and um, we're going to kind of put them on a bit of an angle. So they're kind of going to look like this. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. So this does not have to be exactly how I do it. Um, you can place them wherever you'd like, but that's just how I like mine to look. So I'm just going to place my darning needle on here first. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place these and just kind of look and see, do I like how that looks? Is that in the right spot? And that looks good. So I'm just going to place a pin here, a fabric pin. And then I'm going to start to sew this on. Now, I, I personally don't like when the foot flops like this, so what I like to do is I'm just going to insert my darning needle here, and I'm gonna insert it about two rows, or no, yeah, about one to two rows up from where I um, sewed my foot on. And I'm gonna pull that through, and then I'm gonna go into the area of the foot where it matches up, which is about here, and I'm going to just put my needle through like that. I'm going to pull that a little bit and then I'm going to go in back to where I have it in the body over a few stitches and then I'm going to push that back to the very back. Just like that and that just basically holds that um, foot up instead of it letting it flop around. Now I'm going to sew on the other foot, same way that I just sewed that one on. And then I'm just going to push that second one back to the same spot here. And then on the back here, I'm just going to tie a quick knot. And cut my tails there. And with my smaller hook, I'm going to just weave these in. And there is our ears and our feet attached. Now the very last thing we're going to do is we're going to create these little flowers. I'm just going to bring you in a little. Now these are optional and I like to make these just to put on the head, but you do not have to make them if you don't want to, but I will show you how. So using that same yarn that we used to do the details on the face, we're going to create a magic ring. And for this project, I'm going to be using a smaller sized hook. This is a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I just like to use a smaller hook for this yarn. And I'm going to create my magic ring here. Now the fun part about this pattern for the flower is that it's all going to be worked into the magic ring itself. So to start, we are going to place three double crochets, but we're not going to chain anything right away. We're just going to place three double crochets. So one, two, three, just like that. And then we're going to place a slip stitch. Now we're going to repeat this five times for a total of five uh, times. So we have five petals. That's what we're making right now is the petals. So one, two, three, and a slip stitch. Do it again.
One, two, three, slip stitch, and two more times. One, two, and three, slip stitch, one more time. One, two, three, and a slip stitch. Now I'm just going to cut my yarn here. And I'm going to yarn over here and pull through. And that's what we're looking like right now. We just have our five little petals. Now to create the flower, all we're going to do is we're just going to pull our ring closed. And you can see the flower starting to form here. Now this um, yarn you're going to have to pull quite tight or quite hard to close the ring enough. And if you don't get it fully closed that's totally okay. It's just because there's so many um, strands in the center there. There we go. So once we have um, created our little flower, I created two, so you can create however many you'd like. We're just going to attach them onto the head of our bunny, so I'll just bring you back out again. Now I kind of like mine just on the head right here. This is kind of where I put mine. But you can put yours wherever you like. So I'm just going to first tie a little knot here. This one I've already tied. It's this one that I just made. I'm just gonna tie a little knot. All right, so I'm just gonna take my darning needle and I'm gonna put it on my strand of yarn and I'm just going to grab a couple stitches in the head here and I'm gonna go up through one side to secure it on like that and then I'm just gonna go down and then through the back to sew that on. This yarn end, we will also put in through the back into the same spot. And then I'll do the same with the other one. Just gonna do one right here. I'm going to push this back to the very back, but just a little bit over from the other one. And same thing with these other yarn end on the front. Just going to push that through to the back, meeting up with the second flower end over here. Just like that.
Lastly, I'm just going to make two small knots with each of these pairs of strands for each flower that I put on there. So not there, not here. And then I will just cut these yarn ends. And then I will just weave those in. And there is your finished chubby bunny with your little flowers on it. And these ears will flop kind of all over the place. You're welcome to anchor them down if you like them to stay down. Otherwise, I think it's super cute. It's a really fun pattern and I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know in the comments down below if you guys have any requests for any new patterns. Otherwise, please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!